Hey guys, this is Taylor Robbins with TaylorRobbinsFitness.com and I want to kind of describe and go through the kettlebell clean and jerk or the clean that RKC kind of describes for kettlebell movements. So what you want to do is you want to get into a stance where you can create a lot of force. It's typically how wide you would put your feet if you're going to jump. You want to make sure you stay in neutral spine so you keep your, your back flat, sink into your hips and knees. So now I'm splitting the kettlebell and I'm loaded, ready to pull. You want to do your first explosive pull, which is the first pull, and then a scoop. So I'm going to now bring my body under and scoop the kettlebell with my elbow. So that full movement, again from the floor, is your first pull and your scoop. And then you would stand, that would be just your clean. Or to add the jerk, you would drive through to the top and bring it down the way you pulled it up. Okay, so it's pull one, your scoop, your stand, and add your jerk if we're going through the whole clean and jerk. Okay? Pretty simple if you just break it down, train the different phases and steps, and then you combine them all together. I hope that helps. This is Taylor Robbins with TaylorRobbinsFitness.com.